Welcome back to another video. This week I'm doing a product review and it's the Beldre Cordless Quick Vac Light. Right, so before we crack on with the unboxing, I'm just gonna run through some details for you. So it cost me £54.99 from Robert Dias. Now I bought the product in the sale and right now it's still on sale. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below so you can go and nab it for yourself. So the RRP of this product was £199.99. 200 quid meaning you save 145 quid off the rrp price not bad not bad so in total it cost me including delivery and vat 58 pounds and 94. okay now for the unboxing for this product in particular was because I'd read somewhere that someone said it was great for wooden floors. So I've got wooden floors all downstairs and carpeted stairs and carpet upstairs. So I thought this would be a really great thing to keep downstairs just for the wooden floors, collecting dust, that sort of thing. I've got two tweens, they've started helping out with chores around the house. I went for this because it says it's a quick vac light, meaning it's obviously you know light enough to lift um, so you can do ceilings as well cobwebs in corners it shouldn't be too difficult for them and it doesn't have the cord obviously you've got to charge it up first and then you can carry it wherever you like so I thought great okay great for me to use downstairs great for the kids to use let's give it a go so right I'm going to start getting everything out I think we might have to power it up first charge it um, and I think the battery life I read is about 25 minutes. So once you've charged it, you can use it for 25 minutes on full power. That sounds pretty good. It doesn't take more than 15 minutes really to do downstairs. It's 3.1 kilograms in weight. So as I said, quite light to lift. Let's have a look. Right, so what have we got? Important, please read and follow. Okay, fine. It says always fit the bottom first and never fit the top first. 22.2 volts cordless quick vac light instruction manual. Good, okay. Don't use any of the adapters, blah, 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 other than the one supplied. Fine, okay. So we have one of these, one of these. Attachment, power cable, another attachment, possibly one of my favourite attachments because I use this all the time on the other one, really gets into crevices so I'm looking forward to using this one. Brush attachment, they're quite good for curtains. I've got shutters so with shutters I would probably use this one because it's got the brush on it. And here you go this is the main thing so apparently you can use it obviously as the as a vac but also as a handheld vac so if you're doing things like stairs and things like that which i think is quite handy okay so it's got a little bit of charge in it already i haven't charged it up yet there's a little button on the top there so if you press it once it looks like a low sort of suction again and press it a third time and it switches off so it's got a little bit of suction in it i'm not doing the suction now it says to charge it first it says to make sure it's off when you charge it and apparently you've got to charge it for four to five hours there's a little port at the back of the um device so we just plug that in there put this here put it in On. right okay there's a red flashing light here um so i'm guessing that means that it's charging so four to five hours i will be back to give it a go so the red indicator light is no longer flashing which means it's fully charged 
actually took less than four hours it took more like three hours three and a half I think it was okay so I've um okay so I've unplugged it now I've got all my attachments here I've read the instruction manuals and it says that when you're fitting the attachment you've got to press this button down it must release the catch inside oh yes at the top so that little can you see this there's a little blue I don't know if you can see that but anyway when I press it it goes up so it just means that it could be attached properly let's try this I'll call it the stair attachment because I imagine I'll be using this on the stairs okay so when I pressed it once it didn't seem like there was a lot of suction but I'm just gonna try it actually on my rug on the one suction so you can come with me down here um, let's give it a go you can see there okay all right let's put this back properly so it looks like that was quite good so it picked up some fluff off the rug and that was on the lowest setting so i'm going to go do the stairs and see how that goes okay so that was interesting i only had it on the lowest setting and it picked up most of the fluff there were a couple of stubborn pieces in fact you can see it's collected a little bit of dust there in the bottom there were a couple of little pieces that weren't picking up. As soon as I put it on the extra power, they came straight up. So, so far, so good. Right, so I think what I'm going to do is release this attachment. That's quite easy. And I'm going to use one of my favourite ones, which is one I use pretty much all the time on the other vacuum cleaner. So let's see how easy it is to put this on. Oh, okay, so you just push this up. This must be a catch to release it. And I'm guessing, yeah, this is where you extend it. Okay, so if I then plug this in somehow. Now, something's going on. Did it go this way? No, that's too small. It's got to be this way, but I'm not feeling it connect. That's odd. That's not right because it comes straight out. So must be another attachment I put on first. Let me investigate. This is the culprit. So this is a little accessory tool that slots in here first. Got a little thing at the bottom where it lines up look perfect and then i reckon this will then go on nice snug fit perfect yeah okay so lovely okay i'm gonna do a bit of speed cleaning in the lounge come and join me went pretty well most of the time I was able to um, vac with one hand holding it above my head so I don't think the kids will have any problems it's very lightweight my arm wasn't tiring too much so that was great I'm gonna try it now on the rug and see how well this is at picking up bits from the rug okay so in my honest opinion I don't think this is as good on the rug as it is on um, the hard floor. I had it on the most powerful setting and I didn't feel it pulling at the rug now with my normal vacuum cleaner It literally lifts the rug up and it's a really heavy rug So it was getting up the bits the little pieces, but I don't know It just felt like it was a very light clean. This is probably more suited to hard surfaces but in terms of picking up bits from rugs or carpets if they're high traffic areas and you do get a lot of mud or dirt, 
you might be better off sticking with a plugged vacuum cleaner. All in all, I'm really pleased I got it. Um, it's a good all-rounder. I wouldn't say it would work particularly well, as I said, on carpets or rugs. It gets up the little bits that are just sitting on top. But for me, for downstairs, for the hardwood flooring, it's ideal. I don't need to get the main vac out and plug it in. I literally can just get this out. The kids can help. I can, you know, it's lightweight. You can reach up and get the cobwebs with it as well. So I think all in all, a good buy. Um, I would probably give it out of 10, maybe an eight. Um, couple of things that I thought it should have come with, maybe a little bag to hold the accessories. So um, you have to find a plastic bag or something to put all the accessories in. And also I would have loved the power to be a little bit more just for like the heavy rugs, but you know, just as an all rounder for hardwood flooring, I think it's a really good buy. Anyway, I'm gonna leave the link to um, the product below so you can buy it for yourself if you like it um, or do a little bit more research. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time. Bye.